One of the Minnesota legislature's biggest success stories didn't cost state taxpayers any money. In fact, it's maybe saving the state money. It's the Minnesota Restorative Justice Act signed into law in 2021. As Tom Hauser reports tonight, it allows military veterans who've been charged with crimes, aside from the most serious, like murder or sexual assault, to avoid prison and have their records cleared. Of the three million or so military members who served in post 9-11 war operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, some estimates indicate more than half who return home have some form of physical or psychological injuries. Among those with psychological injuries, like post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD, thousands end up in prison for committing crimes as civilians. I was looking at probably three years in uh, federal prison. 40-year-old Tony Miller served two tours of duty in Iraq with the Army's 82nd Airborne between the ages of 19 and 23. By his late 20s, he had difficulty assimilating back to civilian life and began dealing drugs and using weapons to collect debts. That life was very appealing out of the military. It was, they were, they were, there was action, there was violence, there was all those things about the military that, um, that we engaged in. Police eventually raided his home and arrested him on felony charges. And Tony's life began to unravel as he appeared to be headed for prison until his attorneys directed him to the Hennepin County Veterans Treatment Court. Yes, Tony was given a second chance uh, to avoid a criminal conviction, and it's clear he made the most of it. Tony Miller certainly has made the most of his second chance after avoiding prison time by taking part in a veterans restorative justice program. He now works here at the Minneapolis VA, counseling other veterans, including as part of a suicide prevention team. Instead of prison, he earned his master's degree in social work at the University of St. Thomas. His success story helped lead to a bill signed into law by Governor Walls called the Minnesota Restorative Justice Act, making veterans courts available statewide. They don't tell you what it's like to see a suicide bomb go off and kill 165 people and maim 300 other people. Miller is the focus of a video highlighting the work of the Veterans Defense Project, whose founders, veterans and attorneys Ryan Else and Brock Hunter, lobbied for the statewide program. It allows a judge to accept a plea deal avoiding prison time. In exchange, the veteran must successfully complete treatment for things like PTSD or substance abuse. The judge has granted the authority under the statute to uh, vacate their previous plea and to dismiss the charge, allowing them to go forward without a conviction. The adjustment to civilian life is difficult for many veterans, especially those who see a lot of combat. Coming back to the United States is like coming back from a mission to Mars. And now you're back on Earth and everything is completely different spending substantial amounts of time in jail or prison. Attorney Brock Hunter says offering veterans like Tony Miller a second chance is another way of thanking them for their service. Tony is a shiny example of what this program is all about. Um, I would note, though, that there are many, many other Tony Millers out there who have really dramatically turned their lives around. Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.